The Trade Secretary Kemi Badenoch educates the pro-EU Ramonas and Sky News on Brexit Britain. Okay, thank God for Kemi Badenoch. She's actually really patient as a government minister, as a team player, uh, because she's uh, been used by Rishi Sunak and Jeremy Hunt um, in order to save face. Jeremy Hunt and Rishi Sunak didn't go to Davos, so they decided to send Kemi to Davos. And luckily, she just didn't do anything. She, she had to go as government minister and trade secretary, but she just sat there, didn't do much, uh, because that's not really her environment. She is a sound Brexiteer. She's a good conservative. And she was being interviewed by Sky News on Brexit Britain. Where are we? Why is Brexit not working? And she gave the best answer on why these pro-EU Ramonas are holding us back. Let's go to Kemi. So my job is to make sure that we are working in order to make things better. What I can't do is get in a time machine and go back into the EU. And what I find frustrating is that we spend loads of time, loads of time, trying to relitigate Brexit rather than focus on solving new issues that are coming up. That's what I'm here to do. I'm not here to go back to 2017, 2019 and do that. We wasted so much time and I'm not here to waste time. I'm here to fix problems for business. Having a long discussion around, oh, but it was better with this year and not that year, and it's gone up and it's gone down. It is the long-term trend that I need to work towards rather than what happened this year, last year. I, I think that that is actually, it's, it's what I would call a fake conversation. It's like asking people who just got married, where's the baby, where's the baby? Some things will take time and some things uh, will happen quickly. We lost a lot of time during the pandemic. We lost a lot of time with squabbling. Now yes, absolutely spot on. Again, she definitely has potential for the future of the Tory party. And uh, she just needs to reassure people, just like how she did with the culture battles and all the woke nonsense. Uh, she needs to uh, show her credentials uh, against this ultra globalization that is happening uh, because she wants smaller government. She wants sovereignty for Britain. She needs to make sure that people know that. Uh, because as I said, you know, she, she was forced to go to Davos because she was trade secretary. Uh, but at the same time, she didn't really get involved with any of that nonsense. So that's good. But again, there's still a lot of people who would still question, be skeptical, saying, well, why, why are you even in the cabinet in the first place? But she could say that, but I have to do it because I have to raise my profile and credibility in the Tory party. Unfortunately, that's how you play the game in the Tory party. But again, you might say, well, why are you in the Tory party? <laughs> That's a whole different problem. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of Kemi's prospects for the future of the Tory party. I'm Maya Tutsi and we are the media.